So in terms of uh, preparing your business for a private equity investment, there are a number of things that you can do to enable a maximum value or, or enable the business to guard against the private equity investor chipping away at the value of the business. The first thing is to go into the transaction with a history of progressive growth and also the ability to meet your forecasts. The second thing is to be able to articulate a clear and robust and supportable business growth strategy. And then that has to be backed up by a robust financial business plan. And the third thing is to make sure your management team is very strong and you've filled all the skill gaps required. Private equity is investing in the management team, so they want to be happy that um, the team's skill base is, is full uh, and appropriate. Um, the next thing is to make sure your business is scalable. So do the preparations in terms of systems, infrastructure, people, to ensure that you have an infrastructure there that can support the growth of the business that you're projecting over the next three years. And the next thing is to, where possible, increase the quality of your earnings projections. And by that, I mean the predictability. So if you can have a forward order book, for instance, that backs up you know, 50% of your first year's forecast, then that obviously is a, is a bonus as far as the uh, private equity investor is concerned. And typically it's a six to potentially nine month process, and it involves a massive amount of um, time and effort, particularly on your chairman if you've got one, the CEO, and more importantly, the FD, because he or she bears the brunt of all the questions on the financial model, which is what typically a private equity firm crawls all over. So my, my advice in terms of that would be to invest in resources and support as early as possible. Overinvest, I would say, particularly in the finance function, so that there are other resources there to help the FD through this particularly heavy uh, workload period. Because not only are these people having to deal with the demands of a PE process, but more importantly, you have to keep the business running on a day-by-day -day basis as you go through the process. Because the worst thing you can do is let the business uh, profitability decline while you're going through a process because the private equity investor will see that and chip away at the value of the business.